there again. So I spent Saturday night uh, not doing anything great and thrilling, just trying to get my Wi-Fi router to work. In my last video, I showed you um, about eight of these uh, Netgear Nighthawk X8 R8500 Wi-Fi's that I've been trying to get working. I, I bought a bunch of these in bulk on eBay, which were told to be all broken. Anyway, so I'm connected now to the uh, internet on Wi-Fi on the AC speed on Mac OS, and here's the control panel of that um, that X8. So here we can see that uh, this is a Netgear R8500 here that um, I'm running. Also importantly, I'm running this Kong build, and this is on open router. So it's really important to get the right build. Um, there's two guys in Germany. I'm not sure how they know each other, but there's Kong and there's Brainslayer and probably a bunch of other guys. But Brainslayer, uh, I don't know if he invented this, this DDWRT. Um, Kong also works on it. And I kept reading blogs because I couldn't make this work to save my life. And I finally find out that Kong puts out some pretty good tested builds on open router. So I don't see Kong anymore on uh, DDWRT. His directories are gone, but he is on open router. So anyway, on open router, you sign up for a free account and then I can find this, this Kong build. And so what Kong uh, does is he tests this stuff out. And that is very necessary because I could not make this thing work at all on some of the Brainslayer 2022 builds. I cannot get this, this R8500 to act correctly. Um, the passwords didn't work at all for the Wi-Fi connections um, on WPSK2, and the radios wouldn't work right. Uh, one of the radios didn't show up. So anyway, let's go through this. So here's the uh, 8500. I'm just showing you what I have running here. There's a few things connected here. I also got a router downstairs. It's also double natting off this thing. So that's the story here. Um, let's go to wireless now and sign into this thing. There it is. So on wireless, this is what I found worked. First of all, um, this first interface, I couldn't make it work. So it's not showing up. Um, I couldn't make it work under the um, Brain Slayer builds either. But anyway, it, I don't care. I mean, this just not seem to work. So I was trying to debug this thing. Um, it doesn't work. I don't really care. So I get a little more speed out of this Netgear X8 than my older R6300, which is good. I'm not sure it's worth the extra power this thing pulls and the extra watts this thing uses, but hey, here it is. So on 2.4, I read that this thing was tested and the best settings were NG mixed. Um, you never want to have an automatic channel. You pick a channel and I'm running it wide and all this stuff I've disabled for now. Um, and it works. So that's working fine. We'll go through that in a minute. Okay, this is what, what I care about. This thing has a lot of speed. Um, you must set it to AC only. You can't go uh, AC. And, and you want to go AC only, so you could go like this mix, don't do that. Just go AC only, you get a lot more speed. Um, for whatever reason, I can't get many wireless channels uh, on this thing. I only have one channel offered, which almost seems like a bug to me. On other 8500s, I would get a speed at 160, which was above this VHT 80, and if I select that speed, nothing worked at all. So. I wonder if there's also hardware variations within these already 500s that, that make this difficult, but I finally got one working. So I couldn't make this Nitro work at all. When I went to Nitro, I couldn't connect, so I don't use Nitro. Um, I'm not sure how well this stuff works, but it's there. Um, airtime fairness, have it turned off. I want to get as most speed as possible. When it wants something done, it's bridge. So that's how that worked out. Um, for the security, wireless security here, I have them all pretty much set the same. Uh, W2PSK on all of them on AES, and that is working well. So that's as far as I've gotten on this thing. I'm not sure what else I can really show you that's 
useful, but let's run a speed test now and see how fast this thing's going. It, it works pretty darn good. So let's get the speed test here. There it is right there. Make the window a little smaller. So I have 500 um, gigabits coming down from Cox cable on a surfboard modem. And this thing will get close to line speed now, which I'm really impressed. So now we're on, um, we're on this WL2 here. So we're on this interface right here on this Wi-Fi right there. And my window's gone now. Okay, there it is. Let's, let's fire it up. So speed test it. Boom. So I can get about 520 when I direct connect with a laptop to the uh, Wi-Fi without using this router. I can get about 520. But I'm happy with what I can get on this thing with download now using the uh, Wi-Fi. It's really pretty good. So that's pretty darn good. I'm only 100 um, gigabits off or megabits off from uh, from full line speed, which is 500. So I'm really, really happy with that. And again, this is Las Vegas, LA. So there must be a pretty big pipe going down there. All right, so that's that. Um, what else can I show you here? That's interesting. So yeah, you can jump on here and go to status and see what's, what's cooking here. So there's Kong, Linux. The date's correct, uptime. It's been up 12 hours now, which is good. I went to bed at like three in the morning. So that's interesting. I, I never saw that. Temperature, okay, this is interesting. The thing's running hot, so CPU 65. Wow, that's, that thing's boiling. WL0, these are the actual radios. And that one is, yeah, a little hotter. That's interesting, so I never saw that. Um, what else can I show you here? Let's look here, and it looks like there's some errors coming in here. That's not so good, so I'm receiving. Yeah, there's a lot of neighbors on this channel, so I'm probably getting smacked by them. And I really can't seem to change the channel on here, so that's about it. So how fast am I connecting here? So there's my computer. Where's my iMac? Okay, this thing's actually the iMac right here. So the iMac is coming in at at uh, Mac 19 and Mac 19 is, yeah, so look at this thing. We are moving here. So this is what I'm happy about. This thing is really moving. Um, I'm only about five feet from the router here at my office and it's 100% quality. Um, signal noise is, is uh, pretty good. So, yep, pretty happy with this. So I'm not sure if I can get this thing going faster, but I, I guess it's working now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I was hoping this thing had more range and would would work better with the uh, instruments that I have, so, but I, who knows. Anyway, that's that. Um, I also got an older router downstairs. Um, I can show you that one. And this one is, is double natted, so this is uh, a Brain Slayer build here, which is pretty recent. And it's, it's actually, I could update it, but uh, this thing's working, you know, I'm not going to mess with it. So there's a bunch of stuff connected here. Most of the stuff here is, um, uh, most of it is basically uh, wall sockets for using Alexa. So a lot of it's that. Um, this thing is the pool, so the pool is on here too, and the pool basically is Aqualink by Jandy, so this signal is the one I worry about, um, because to control the pool, this has to go outside, and its last two uh, octals are CA, or hexes, so let's see, CA is where, here it is. So there's a pool outside, and this is the longest, long distance from our router, and it's coming in how well? That's yeah, 78. That's really good. That's really, really good. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, without that, um, I use Alexa to turn the pool on and off and that works like that. So this little router is old. This is like an R6300. This is really old, but it's been faithful and I have it double netted. So it's connected to um, this, um, this uh, 
this R8500. So I have it, I have this router connected to a port on the R8500. I know that gives me double NAT. Um, I, I still get some speeds off this thing, so actually I can probably try to connect that one downstairs. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Downstairs, there's downstairs. So I'm changing the Wi-Fi signal and I gotta connect from that one now. So I can probably do a speed test now from the downstairs router, which is a good long way from me up here in the upstairs. And let's find the, uh, uh, I'm trying to get this moved away and find the speed test window. I probably closed it. Anyway, I'm rambling here. Internet speed test. So this is from downstairs. Let's see how fast this will go. That's darn good. So this thing is probably 30 or 40 feet through walls and everything else to the downstairs in a diagonal. And that thing is cooking for an old router. And that's running a Brain Slayer build of, of uh, a DDWIT. So, hey, I'm really happy with that. And by cascading the older uh, R6300 router through this newer uh, Netgear, I'm able to have almost line speed through the Netgear. And that's really improved speed from the, uh, the router downstairs. So I know I shouldn't cascade them. Um, could I actually get to uh, DHCPs from Cox? I could, but I don't want to mess with it. So really then this router here, the first one is my point of contact with Cox cable. You can see the IP address is right here. Um, and then um, this other one is uh, talking through, um, it's, it's, I have a static IP address on it, so it's not using DHCP. It's talking through 192.168.1.2 to this, this um, 8500 here. So if that makes sense, that's what I did. So this dot two is, is really, as you can see, it's, it's, that's the IP address of it there. That's its WAN and it talks to this one on dot one, which is the 8500. And the 8500 goes out to, uh, to Cox cable. So yeah, this one I use for the office upstairs and I'm usually hardwired to it. Um, I'm not hardwired to it right now, but you know what? That could be a pretty cool experiment. Let's, let's hardwire to this, this one here now. So I'll turn off the Wi-Fi now. Wi-Fi off. And I know it's off screen and now, I'll make sure the cable's plugged in. So now I'm not going to use Wi-Fi. I'm going to use direct Ethernet to that machine. And it's plugged in. I just got to enable my computer to be a DHCP. I'll do that now off screen. I'm sorry I'm off screen, but I'll change Ethernet to configure it IPv4. Oh, there it is. I can show you this. So yeah, going to go from uh, not connected. See, now we have the Wi-Fi off and we'll connect this guy up. Can DHCP it? That'll work. Apply it. It should. It should go. So now we're taking DHCP from the R8500. On, on there it is. So it's connected. And let's see what it did here. Uh, let's go here, advanced. So it pretty much gave me this address. Not that I care. But that's what it gave me. So now we can run a speed test again on this thing. And I should get. I mean, close to line speed, which would be pretty cool because this thing is, um, I'm getting about 5, 530 in from, uh, from my provider. So let's see what this will do. We were getting almost 400 on the Wi-Fi. This should be higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look at that. I can get line speed through Kong's build here. Look at that, man. That's, that's like, I'm supposed to only get 500 from Cox. I'm getting about 550. So I'm really happy with that. I'm paying for 500, so I'm really happy with Kong's build and how this turned out. I, I can't be happier. I mean, that is rocking speed there for uh, Cox Cable here in Las Vegas. So maybe I got lucky there, but that thing was cooking, wasn't it? So that's a story. Here I'm wired, and I'm getting about, uh, what, 473, 500 wired. If I turn off the Ethernet now, let's do that. Go back to the uh, Wi-Fi here. Okay, so I'm gonna kick the screen back up and we'll turn off ethernet, off. We'll go back to Wi-Fi here, turn it on. How do I do that? 
I'm not sure I know how to turn it back on. Let's do it from the console on top of the computer here. There's a little bar on top of the Mac OS that has this date, the time, with a bunch of little widgets. Hit the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi on. Okay, internet upstairs is what I want. And let's see what it did. It connected, network preferences, and I'll show you what's going on here. So now, this Wi-Fi is on, and let's see what it gave us here. It didn't, didn't give us anything, huh? Because why? That's not gonna work, is it? It's showing it's not connected. Let's try to connect it again. Trying to connect again. Okay, it says it's connected. And okay, there, yeah. Okay, now it was stubborn, so it's connected now. So now we're on Wi Fi. And let's see how fast we're going here, if we can tell. So the router, okay, well, first we'll do the speed test. So on, on wired, we got about that fast on the Wi Fi here on AC. Let's see what we have on the AC mode. That is pretty damn close. So maybe I'm losing about 50 megabits through the Wi-Fi. That's not bad. That's I've never had it this good. So the R8500 with Kong's build is working out for me just fine. So maybe it would for you too. All right. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not sure what else I can show you, but... Um, cooking along. Um, I'm connected here very quickly. So I'm happy with my speed here. And sometimes it bounces at 1300, so you can't beat it. All right, thanks for watching again. This is Kong's build. You want to go to open router. I wonder if I can show you that here. Open router. Open router. I think that's it. There it is. Okay, open router, and I found Kong's build here somewhere. Anyway, where's Kong on here? R8500. And where's Kong? Okay, that's, oh, we got search, okay, yeah. Here we go. Okay, there's Kong right there. Okay, yeah, so this is where you get Kong's build. And you need to count to uh, log into this thing. Anyway, that's about it. I appreciate you watching, and have a great day.